Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your girl coming at you with another awesome video. I miss you guys. Let me say that first. But you guys already know why I haven't been making videos. If you do not know, please, please, please go check out my last video. Anyway, let's just hop into this video. First of all, I just want to let y'all know that your girl is still alive and kicking. But y'all been going through so much shit right now. It don't make no damn sense. But as you guys can see... I have my hair braided. Now, tomorrow will make two weeks I've had these. What? Damn, what are two weeks? Around about two weeks I've had these braids in. And as you can see, the color payoff is beautiful. It's actually showing up pink right there. But this is the um, Emily Jumbo braiding hair that I did an initial review on. Please make sure you go and check that video out. Um, but this is going to be like a uh, install slash um, just give you guys heads up. But um, I do have in the ombre color hair, which is black at the roots, purple, and then it goes into a blue. But you can hardly, well, it's right here, but it's just showing up purple here and pink here. It's not that color that you're seeing. And I think that's because of the camera quality. Which I hate. But yeah, anyway, let's go on. And I do have it in a high bun because your girl was stunting outside today with the shades and everything on her. I should have did my eyebrows. But anyway, guys, let me tell you this. The girl that did my hair will vouch for me when I say this. This hair, even though it is gorgeous, it is the one of the most beautiful packs of braiding hair that I've ever had in my entire life and I've had plenty of braids trust me when I say that but it is the colors are so beautiful they just flow together and look awesome on my complexion but let me tell you that hair gave her hell and I did my daughter I braided um well I put flats in my daughter's hair what was it Saturday that just left and it gave me hell and I was like you know what at first when the girl was actually braiding my hair it was tangling up on her. She had to literally, she braid some down and didn't have to take out the whole braid just to get the grip. The, it was just the hair is too, too silky, if that makes any sense. And that's weird in braiding hair world, if you know what I mean. But anyway, it was too much. It was like it was doing the most. First, it was because you guys know initially I bought the five pack bundle because you can't buy them separately. And I knew five, well, I feel like five was not going to be enough for my hair. So I ended up buying a second five-pack bundle, which means I had ten packs of hair. And she uh, only ended up using um, a few, but I know I had two packs, two or three packs left. But yeah, anyway, let me tell you, it gave her hair. I can't stop saying that because I saw and it shedded its ass off. Let me tell you that. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. I tried the um because she braided my hair and and I did the hot water method on it, you know, to you know straighten my hair like you guys know I love the whole feathered look on plaits and I just love that. But when I tried to do that, this it was not working. And I figured it out. Then wait a minute, I did not feather my ends before she um you know installed well did my plaits. And we all know you got to feather the ends of braiding hair before you install it. So, yeah, that didn't work. So, I ended up having to curl my ends. You can't really tell. Well, a little here. It's poking out here. But as you can see, I had to curl my ends. Now, when I make another video, I'll do my best so you guys can see that it's curled really good. But, yeah, that didn't work. And that's because, I, um, like I said, I didn't feather my ends. But, um, so, yeah. When I was doing the hat method to, you know, braid it up, because I didn't do, like, stick my whole hair, all the hair in there. I just, you know, made, like, four huge plaits. And, and I just wanted, like, my ends to be curly, not the entire plaits. So I curled my ends. So I put in about, let me, let me pull one out so you guys can get the drift. But as you can see, I started right at the top, right here, where the blue start. So I would take that and um, braid it. Big jumbo braids, and I braid it super tight. I put a rubber band first, then braid it tight and put another rubber band. And then I dipped it in the hot water. Now when I did all of the plates, I would look back into the water, because I boiled my water. 
and it turned completely blue. You talking about somebody was like, oh, hell no, nah, because I thought the word like, yo, I live in Florida, and we just now coming up out of hurricane season. If I step outside in the regular rain and it bleeds into my clothes, we're going to have a goddamn problem. You hear me? Yes, we are. But yeah, anyway, so that pissed me off one. So I was like, you know what? Ugh, I can't deal. So it was already too late because, hell, I'm not going to go back and take out. Excuse me. I'm not finna go back and take out all these plates. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Chess, I've been taking this. And it's about to clean me up. But yeah, anyway, I was like, I'm not about to go and uh, deal with that. I'm just gonna stay my ass in the hospital for five four line rain. I'm just playing. So, yeah, the hair definitely bleeds. So, um, let me see. I did my daughter hair. No, actually, let me go back. The hair, it is super light it's not heavy at all and as you can see i have in this big gorgeous bun and i can move this bad boy side to side and it does not hurt it's not pulling it's not heavy while she was braiding my hair and after she kept asking me is it heavy is it heavy i was like no it's actually pretty light because it's a lot of hair it actually goes down on my back it's long the way i like it but i could have went a little longer but y'all know i'm extra but yeah anyway it's not heavy so um yes i did my daughter's hair Saturday, like I said, and I finished, um, let me see, I finished the same day Saturday, I'm trying to think, I used, I finished using the ultra jumbo hair on her, but I used some of this hair too, because she's all into colors now, even though she's on nine, and I personally don't see the problem in giving her colors, that's what little girls like, purples and greens and yellows and pinks in their hair, why, I ain't asking. I'm grown and I like color of my hair, so I didn't really see it as an issue or her trying to be grown or whatever. So I wasn't giving her a full head of color, I just give her a little, you know, here and there hints of color. But um, yeah, so I put them in her hair and as I'm, you know, because like I said, I use two different packs of hair. I use the ultra and I use this Emilia Jumbo braiding hair in her head. So when I was braiding with the Emilia hair, it gave me problems. It would tangle, it's hard to, you know, attach it to her hair. It was giving me issues. So I would definitely say it does give you a little issue. It does issues as in the grip. Like it's so silky that it slides right back off. And my daughter's hair, I initially didn't wash her hair because I washed her hair like, well she, well, she washes her own hair now. She does damn good on it. Get her to wash my hair too, like that. But I, um, she had got her hair washed probably like washed her hair Wednesday and I did her hair Saturday. So of course I moisturized her ends and made sure she was good. But her scalp was dry, but not that dry. So when I was um bring her hair, it kept literally sliding. Like the hair is super soft. So yeah, that's what I mean by giving issues. I keep looking at the window because I'm trying to see if my kid is coming. So they're gonna throw off this whole video. But yeah, the hair does bleed. So if you, when you, if or when you do the hot water method, be very, very careful because it's going to turn the water blue. And that's exactly what it is to me. Um, it's super light. It's not heavy on my head. And I have, um, as you can see, some medium sized plate. Looking kind of old now. I need to brush back my baby hairs and probably freshen my crown hair. Other than that, it's straight. But, um, yes, it does bleed. The color does bleed. But it doesn't fade, if that makes sense. I haven't noticed, like, any fading colors. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can say about this hair. But one more thing is, since I've had this hair, and I, everywhere I go, I promise you, I get so many compliments on the color. And I'm, it makes me even happy that, happier that I chose this color. Because, like, I really felt like it matched me and it was going to look good. I made the right decision but um yes that is about it now i don't know what my next video will be but i will try to make one soon i just hate the quality of this camera it's so slow and just messed up to me but um i will catch you guys in my next video like i said i've been win, but i'll try my best um yeah i think that's it now don't forget to of course subscribe i mean why not it is free thumbs up this video show your girl some love it helps other people find your girl um and of course follow me on instagram and all that it'll be down below in the description box um yes until the next video peace